I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Procter & Gamble has become the subject of online scrutiny from a Facebook page started by mothers claiming that the company's new Pampers diapers cause rashes and even chemical burns, leading to a lawsuit this month regarding product safety regulations in the United States and Canada. Procter & Gamble's Pampers division brings in around 11 percent of the company's total revenue. $8.5 billion of Procter & Gamble total 20 total 79 billion revenue from 2009 came from Pampers. Procter & Gamble has responded to the cl claims as quote completely false and company officials issued a statement saying quote intensive safety assessments clinical testing and consumer testing before during and after the launch shows that Pampers Dry Max is safe. Company officials also said that diaper rashes are common and can affect over 2.5 million babies at any given time. Vice President of Pampers North America Division said, quote, Obviously, we're treating this issue with utmost urgency. We're doing everything we can to reach out to moms and assure them of the safety of our product. Pampers Drymax debuted in March of this year, and Procter & Gamble's sales have not been negatively affected by the accusations. The U United States Consumer Product Safety Commission has begun investigating whether the mother's claims are merited by speaking to customers and reviewing Procter & Gamble's data on product manufacturing and testing. Shares of the company are trading down by two-tenths of a percent on Friday afternoon at a price of $62.47 per share. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more on this story, visit our website, tradethetrend.com.